releasing major hits since 1987 with Street Fighter and Monster Hunter and Resident Evil. Expectations couldn't be higher. Your stock price is near an all time high. How does that make you feel? And how will you meet those expectations going forward? In order to continue to grow, it is important to introduce new AAA type products every year. It is also important to release repeated titles over a long period of time while considering price sensitivity. We are planning of achieving stable growth through sales of these repeated titles. Well, you've set a goal of selling 100 million copies of your games in a single year. Which platform do you think will drive that growth? For many years, PC has been our main platform. We are currently selling in 230 countries and regions through this PC platform. While we will continue to use the PC as our main platform, I hope to achieve our 100 million copies goal with contribution from AAA-type titles on smartphones. Well, there's been some buzz around being able to play Resident Evil on the new iPhone 15 Pro. Now that you have this deal with Apple, I mean, tell us a bit more about that, but do you feel like it was a mistake not to get into mobile gaming sooner? Capcom's high-quality games have finally become playable on smartphones with iPhone 15 Pro. Of course, we wanted to do it much earlier, but our technology were not able to meet that requirement. Now that we have the technology, we can continue introducing our games for the smartphones. We have built relationships with Apple by participating in Apple Arcade. Our title became available on the new iPhone 15 Pro as a result of this relationship. I look forward to continuing to work with Apple as a strategic partner and grow together. We saw Microsoft acquiring Activision. There's been some whispers in the industry about some more deals. What is Capcom's thinking when it comes to M&A? Is there anything in the works? I think there have been many M&A talks in the game industry. There was once a time we were a target, but rather than acquiring an outside company, we prefer organic growth. It is important to train and develop human resources in-house in order to carry out growth strategies. I also believe we can utilize external partners, but we have no intention of acquiring companies. What if Microsoft comes to you and says, we're interested in buying you out? Would you entertain that? I would gracefully decline the offer because I believe it would be better if we were equal partners. As a business leader, what do you think is the one thing Japan needs most in order to stay ahead in the world? I believe the industry that will help Japan grow in the future is digital entertainment. We can respond to the global needs by utilizing our excellent human resources. Heart of this is what we believe is game. Japanese games are very well received globally. These days, game IP is being made into movies. It's also been merchandised. In order for Japan to continue to grow, I believe that the game industry will have to lead the way. Capcom will work hard to increase corporate value and develop game talent, and we will do our best to support the growth of Japan.